this then this checkpoint has passed so I'm just going to check if that's correct or not checkpoint timeout you can wait for zero second or if you want you can wait for five or, or, or more seconds depends on what exactly you want to do right so I just put the checkpoint now and I click on OK and look what Quittest Pro has done so it has added the line right on top of the sink so what this is going to do this is going to check if the value Quittest Pro is displayed in this page let's see if this is going to work uh, do you think this is going to pass or fail the test let's have a look I'll replay as it should and let's see what's gonna happen so I'll just put back the initial stage in order to replay and I press run so don't forget we have the, those five second wait statement there in between as well so we have okay now we have Integrators Pro it displays the test result the search result sorry not the test result wait for five seconds and click on the back button so now if we go to Quitus Pro and click on the test result we see that we have a pass so it has successfully found that the value of this checkpoint is Quitus Pro indeed and it's gone to the next stage so it has found the correct value and it's going to the next stage so if we look at the summary overview quick test pro it has passed let's let's check this checkpoint let's right click on it right so I'm just going to the checkpoint I just right click and go to checkpoint property so let's see if the constant value quick test pro is indeed just quick test and I just click on OK so I'm just checking if this particular text is quick test or quick test pro so in the checkpoint I have made quick test only right so let's see if I go back to the stage and remove this we can remove the five second wait there we don't really need that anymore and I will just replay the script from there so it has entered quick test pro it's checking for quick test quick test in the checkpoint and it's gone back to the initial stage what do you think has happened now do you think the test has passed or failed let's have a look it has indeed failed why because we've made sh we've made the change in the checkpoint to show that it was checking if the value was quick test but in the edit field itself we have quick test pro so it has a comparison there as well it shows in red that the test has this specific step has failed so the test has failed because the value that we compared are not the same so this is a great tool for automation you know you can verify a lot of the things in the application you have developed before it goes into production and this is one thing that you can do with Quickest Pro the other side I want to quickly show you is basically every time you record an application it has values it has properties for each object and there is basically a place called the object repository where all those objects are stored. This is where Quicktest Pro gets the information of the properties he wants to use. Whenever he needs to replay on an object, for instance, the Google search, as you can see, this is the properties, the mandatory properties it's using to uniquely identify the, the, the object. This is for the edit field, this is for the web page, and this is again for the edit field for this for different web page for the Google search. That he has found for the for the for the results basically of the search. Right, this is the properties that it's using. This is the object identification with using with this with those properties. 
there's another option which is also available which is the highlight in application so if I go back here I have the Google search I have a button there called Google search I just want to make sure that the button I have there is exactly the button I have in the Google search so what I do I click on highlight in the application and as you can see it's got a black rectangle around the object I'll just do that again so you can see there you go so you can see that it has identified the Google button Google search button correctly as it should okay so this was just a quick overview and uh, there's loads of more features to cover I am going to stop the recording now but I will be showing you more features and I will also be showing a few interesting features of, of Quitters Professional, a few things that would be really interesting just to play around, just to see what can what can be done with it. And uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, please rate and comment this video.